Good evening, everybody. Uh, lovely to see you. About 100 people on uh, line. Thanks for joining us uh, to celebrate uh, this Easter week as we continue on uh, our Easter journey together. For Christ is truly risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let's begin our Mass as we always do in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries together this evening, let us call to mind our sins and seek the tender mercy of our loving God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us give glory to God. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So we'll listen to our readings on this the Tuesday of Easter week. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And Peter testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added to their number. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, 
Stand for our gospel. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary stayed outside near the tomb, weeping. Then, still weeping, she stopped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head, the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They've taken my Lord away, she replied, and I don't know where they've put him. As she said this, she turned round and saw Jesus was standing there, though she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Sir, If you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then, and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means master. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, because I have not yet ascended to my father. But go and find the brothers, and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that these things had happened to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening to those of you who have joined us. Thanks for being here. About 130 people gathered together, which is wonderful in these times that we can do this and reflect just for a few moments on tonight's gospel. Very powerful gospel. Mary of Magdala. We can imagine her in her bewilderment and her sorrow and her grief and her pain. We meet her at the tomb, crying, weeping, the gospel tells us. And if her pain wasn't bad enough, she's came to the tomb and there is no body. She must have thought that the grave had been desecrated, 
moved. The stone is moved away. She cannot see the body of Jesus anyway. As if her grief wasn't bad enough, I bet she felt she had been punched in the stomach. Agony, pain. So she weeps some more. Then Jesus suddenly is there. Her face is covered in tears. She doesn't recognize him at all. She presumes that it's the gardener. Please, if you've taken my Lord, tell me where you've put him so I can go to him. Please. You can get the sense of desperation in her voice. Mary, Jesus said. We can imagine her utter delight. Suddenly she realizes that it is the Lord. Rabuni, she shouts out, Rubunai, however you pronounce it, meaning my master. And the interesting thing about that phrase, Rabuni, or Rabunai, only two people use it in the whole of the Gospels. Mary, at the resurrection, and if you remember, Bartimaeus, the blind man. He is also the only other person that says Rabuni, or Rabunai, to Jesus. Not just teacher, my teacher, my Lord. It denotes a much more personal connection with Jesus. You're not just rabbi, you're not just teacher, you're not just Lord. My Lord, my God, my Savior, my teacher, the teacher of all teachers. I don't need to go to anybody else to learn anything. You have all the answers. And it's interesting that those are the only two that recognize that, make that unique personal connection with our Lord. A blind man who has been a social outcast, considered sinful and cut off from the rest of the community. He makes that connection. You're my teacher. You're my master. You're my Lord. And Jesus accepts that. You are my Lord. I am your Lord even with someone that was ostracized and cut off from the community, Jesus makes that personal connection. So too with Mary. Remember, she is the woman who is considered a sinner, but who Jesus embraces. She's had demons inside of her. We all have our own demons in life. And Jesus accepts her. And in the resurrection, at this special moment of encounter with the Lord, Mary, representing all of us, his disciples, makes that personal connection with Jesus. Rabuni, or Rabunai, you're my master, you're my Lord. Jesus, risen from the dead, wants to have that personal relationship with all of us. He wants to be close to us, and he can be. In this Easter week, we're invited to open our hearts up to the risen Christ, accept him into our hearts at this most trying and difficult time in our lives, when we feel cut off, isolated, alone at times. We are never alone. We are never alone and should never be afraid with Jesus alive from the dead. So let's turn in prayer this evening. Let's continue to pray for one another, our parish community and all those watching online this evening. If you want to type away, I'll look later, but... Uh, you want to type people you'd like to pray for then please do so now so everyone can see the names and we can pray for each other's intentions so just write away with your intentions tonight so we can all pray uh, with you and as we're doing that as we're thinking of the people and typing them that we want to pray for we continue to pray for all those who are suffering from coronavirus 
pray for healing and for strength. We continue to pray for all our key workers and our healthcare workers especially. Sunderland Royal and South Tyneside Hospital, and St. Benedict's Hospice, for all our care homes and nursing homes in our community. That the Lord will keep all those there safe and in his care. In these days, we pray for a closer relationship with the risen Christ, that we will truly allow him into our hearts. We'll feel his presence in our lives and we'll communicate that presence with the people we love. Just have a, a few moments of silence where we bring our private petitions before the Lord. We ask our patron and our blessed mother to pray with us and for us all this evening as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord our God, we ask you to hear and receive all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By destroying, by dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. 
Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angels sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim together. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, Seamus, our Bishop Emeritus, all of the clergy and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died, especially those for whom we now pray. Welcome these and all into the light of your face. Of mercy in us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to all the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all of my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be separated from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away all the sins of the world. Blessed are those that are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Hear us, almighty God. And as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's before the final blessing just to say thanks very much. Uh, it's wonderful to have you uh, with me here on this Easter uh, week, celebrating Mass with you. Uh, I'll go to the back of church and say a few hellos uh, in a moment after the final blessing. But I hope that you're all well and uh, cheerful, despite all the difficulties, uh, and you're staying home and staying safe. Uh, and we'll keep praying with and for one another. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much, everybody. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. So how is everyone doing? Just say a few hellos. Thanks for joining us tonight. I just, as they come up. Catherine Scholes, hello. Pamela Thompson, hello. Uh, nice to see you all. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, the Duggins in uh, Washington, hello. Simon McGee's also watching Washington there. Uh, John, hello. Susan, thanks. Eileen, Remy, hello, Remy. Uh, let's see who else is there. Andrew, how are you doing? Marina, Paul, thank you. Paul and Maria, Yvonne, V Maud. Veronica, how are you doing? Winnie Nesbitt, Deborah, 
Nice to see you too. Goodness, there's 143 online. Maridi Di Campo. Been working hard in the hospital, I'm sure. Eileen Jones, hello. Well, you've all gone very shy. There's not many people saying hello tonight. Uh, so, thanks again for joining us. It's lovely to see you all. Amy, hello. Hello to Cy Cyrus and Jack, two of our older servers. Gillian, hello. Teresa Dolan. God bless you too. Marie, thank you. Hello, Maura. Nice to see you, uh, Maura. Hope you're well. We miss you here. Thanks, Andrew. Hello, Christine. Yes, Christine. Well, we'll see you more often. <laughs> you live here. Paula, take care as well. Hello, Eva. Kathleen. Teresa. Elizabeth Gormley. Hello, Elizabeth. Veronica. Another Veronica. James McGee. Hello, Anne and James. I'm glad you're here. Barbara Watchman. Thank you. Dorothy. Bill Mellish. How are you doing, Bill? Hope you and all the family are well. Hello, so Sue Tucker. Yes, Veronica. Annetta. Buongiorno, Annetta. Italian. From Jaro. Pam Giles, hello, Pamela. Thanks for letting us in. Thanks for being here, Pamela. Norman, hello, Norman. Maridi again. Uh, Patricia Meek, hello. Uh, Mary, Sharon McCaffrey, Patricia. Lovely to have you all here. And nice to see you all. So thank you very much, everybody. I think I'm going to uh, tidy up in church. I'll uh, just spend another 15 minutes or so in here, say a few prayers, and then I'm going to go and make some tea for myself. Uh, so, because I'm, I'm hungry now. So, thanks very much, everyone, for joining. We'll see you soon, I hope.